Here's our 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan. Only 64,000 miles on this van. Body's in great condition. Here's a shot of the tires. It's got a lot of life left in the rubber there. This caravan wouldn't be complete without the stow and go seats in the back. They number them so you know exactly what to do. Just number one, number two, folds down, number three, and then you pull it. There we go. And you can do that with this seat as well. There's a shot of the rear seats. Does have the bench in the middle. A lot of room for your kids to hop in back there. It doesn't have the power sliding doors, but these doors are very light, easy to open and close. Power options. I really like the trim on this particular Grand Caravan. It has armrest. Steering wheel mounted controls for your cruise control, your display screen, and then also your volume and to change the channels on the back here. I'm gonna start it up for you. Only 64,000 miles. No check engine lights, no warning lights. Just needs a little bit of gas. Single disc CD player with your auxiliary. All your climate control, air conditioning. These are always nice, especially if you have kids. You can keep an eye on them in the back seats there and not have to turn all the way around. All right, let's take it for a drive. This caravan is equipped with a 3.6 liter V6 that produces 283 horsepower. So when you've got this van loaded down with friends or family, you've got plenty of power, it's not gonna be sluggish at all. For being a bigger vehicle, it does stop really well. We have a ton of friends who have recently traded in their SUVs for minivans just because they're so much more convenient with the sliding doors not having to worry about door dings when your kids get out of the car. Well, if you're ready to trade in your SUV or your family's gotten larger and you're looking to get into something that's gonna be able to sit, sit, seat everybody comfortably, this caravan will be a, a great option for you, especially having such low miles on it. When you come take a look at this vehicle in Marysville or just off of State Avenue, just look for that building with the green top.